Hi guys, welcome back to Urban Rhino Tutorials. On today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a necklace connector, and this is going to be for multiple necklaces. So I don't know about you, but when I wear necklaces, especially more than one, I hate when I'm wearing it throughout the day and the clasp part starts to rotate around and end up to where it is at the bottom, you know, like on your neck where people can see it. Um, the same goes for wearing multiple necklaces and them getting like all twisted and tangled up. So I am going to show you how to create a connector where you can hook on multiple necklaces. It will help it stay at the back of your neck and it will hopefully help keep your necklaces from getting tangled up. Um, the nice thing with this is you can change it out. So you can create one of these and then attach multiple necklaces to it as you change them each day. So what we're going to do is start with a connector bar or a chandelier bar. They're called different things depending on where you buy them. There are different ones that you can get, different colors like this. Some are more decorative. I am going to use these gold ones that have five loops on them. I'm not going to be connecting five necklaces on. I'm going to be doing three but obviously I have the ability to if I wanted to add that on more in the future. So the idea is that on one side of these, you will have jump rings, and on the other side, you will have clasps. And basically your necklace will hook on to, you know, one side of your necklace will hook on, if, it's, if this is the jump ring side, that would hook onto the clasp, and if this is the clasp side your jump ring would hook onto that. So I think I got a little confused there. I'm gonna show you how to create this. So first we'll start by making this part. I have three lobster clasps. You could certainly use a spring clasp if you prefer. The toggle clasps don't work as well for this. You could potentially work it out, but I feel like the lobster clasp necklaces or spring clasps work better. So what I'm gonna do to start, is open a jump ring. I'm using some smaller ones to connect the clasps on. And I'm going to, since there are five loops on these, I'm going to space them out. So I'm gonna put one on the end, one in the middle, and one on the other end, and leave a loop in between them. Just closing them up, just like that. I'm going to do that for the other two as well. And again, like I said, the nice thing is that you can change out your necklaces. I wear, even though I have a an absolute ridiculous amount of jewelry, as you can imagine being a jewelry teacher, how much jewelry I have, um, I tend to find myself, especially like on a day-to-day -day basis, just going to work and stuff, I tend to wear a lot of the same stuff over and over. But I do like to change up my necklaces for sure. Okay, so I'm hooking the last one on. And then from here, it really doesn't matter which side you put the clasp on for this part. So this side, I'm gonna put three jump rings. I can put the clasp here or I can put the clasp here. Doesn't It doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to, I think I'll just alternate it. I'll put the clasp on this side. Actually, you know what? It would make more sense for it to be on this side because a lot of times the clasp is on the correct side. So that your pendant, if you have something like a pendant, so for instance, on one of these, I have a shell so that it faces forward. And obviously you can just connect your necklace on, turn it around so that it's facing the right way. And I need another clasp. So again, we'll just keep with the clasps. That's a hard word to say when you're saying the plural of clasp. We're going to keep these all on one side. I've actually seen these being sold through a few different companies and they charge a stupid amount for them. So that's kind of what gave me the idea to make one. I was like, that would be so simple to make. All right, so we have this part finished, and now on this side, we're gonna do jump rings. I'm gonna go with some larger jump rings. That way it's just a little bit easier for the, whoops, for the, the clasp that's on my necklaces to hook into. 
You don't want to struggle with that. So, and you won't see this. You know, it's going to be at the back of your neck, so it won't matter. Okay, so we've got one. And as you can imagine, like I said, what we're going to be doing is taking each necklace and connecting it onto this. And remember, it can be removed as you want. So we on each necklace, so if you were to take one of them, the clasp will hook on to one of these jump rings. And on the other side, the jump ring part of the necklace will hook on to the clasp of the connector bar. And one more, <laughs> my goodness, I'm knocking them all over the place. One more jump ring. And then I will show you how we will connect these together. This might be a nice way to kind of transport necklaces too. If you travel, you can connect three of them together like this and it'll help them keep from getting tangled as much. Okay, let me move this stuff out of the way. And now we are ready to start connecting them together. So again, this clasp is going, this lobster clasp here will connect onto this jump ring and then our necklaces are going to hang. So this is my shortest strand. So I'm going to connect it first. This, this part doesn't really matter. You just wanna make sure that you connect them so that they line up. So if I'm doing the first um, lobster clasp on this side, then I wanna do the first jump ring. And it's going to go this way. So the clasp, that doesn't want to open for me. There we go. Hooks on here. And then this one hooks on this side like this. So we've got one attached. Now my next one is this. Let me make sure I'm right. Yeah, my next longer necklace is the paper clip chain. I'm going to make sure I get it turned the right way. So again, the clasp, I just made these necklaces, so <laughs> some of them, the clasp are a little sticky, trying to open them up. Clasp hooks on here, and the clasp of the connector bar hooks onto the necklace on this side. Work with me here, lobster clasp. There we go. Sometimes that first time of opening it, they wanna stick a little bit. And then we have one more to hook on. So you can see already how they're coming together. Last one is the shell, and it's face down right now, but that's okay. When I turn this around, they'll be going the right direction. it on hook this on I purposely made this this way with the clasp on what will be the right side because I'm gonna turn it over because I am right-handed so when I put it on it'll be the right direction all right so you can, you can see if I can get these to lay out how they are all connected together and now to put this on, all you have to do is use the one clasp, hook it on, and it's good to go. And all of your strands should stay, shouldn't get near as tangled as they would if they were separate. Because they are spaced out like this, they're not going to twist together near as much. And then also you have the ease of being able to take on and off one necklace. And then most importantly is the fact that the necklace end, the clasp area, will not slide around to the front of your neck. So it should hang like this throughout the duration of the day. So very easy to make, as you could see, um, especially now it's ready to be changed out and you can put whatever different necklaces on that you want. So I will include links in the description below where you can purchase these supplies. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.